every 20 seconds, you're going to break into a 10 second sprint. Okay, 10 second sprint can be whatever you want. It can be high knees, smashing the rope as fast as you can. For the victory lap though. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. All right, guys, it's uh, Ralph from Box Clever Sports again, uh, back at you with another exercise you can do uh, in your own time. Okay, also, once again, minimal equipment, uh, but what we're doing now is we're focusing a bit more sort of boxing specific. So really all you need, okay, for this workout is a skipping rope and a bit of space, okay? So it's very simple. What we're gonna do, we're gonna work in three rounds, okay? So standard boxing rounds will be two minutes on or three minutes on, working with one minute rest, recovering, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with two or three uh, rounds of skipping. Okay, but what we're going to do instead of just sort of skipping your classic sort of carrying on skipping normally, by all means, that's what we're going to start with. And you do this for a three minute round, but you're going to break things up a little to make it more interesting. Break the rounds up into 30 second blocks. And skip nice and easy, nice and normal. Control your breathing for that first 20 seconds of your 30 second block. Okay. You don't need a round timer like I'm using, which I'm staring at in the corner. If you've got a phone with a stopwatch on it, just keep an eye on it, okay? Once you get 20 seconds down into the round, every 20 seconds, you're gonna break into a 10 second sprint, okay? 10 second sprint can be whatever you want. It can be high knees, smashing the rope as fast as you can, okay? Or it can be double unders, okay? Smash that out as hard as you can for that 10 seconds. And then breathe for that remaining 20. Okay, as soon as that 20 seconds comes up again, off you go for another 10. Keep going. And then rest again. So guys, you've got a two or a three minute round. You can break it up however you want. If you want more time to rest, you can do 30 seconds easy skip, 10 seconds sprint. If you want less time to rest, 15 second rest easy skip, 15 second sprint. Or even if you're an absolute animal, 10 seconds, 10 seconds easy skip, 20 second sprint, okay? So, that's basically your skipping workout. You can do that really as many rounds as you want. So you could do two two minute rounds, three three minute rounds, whatever it is. Just keep an eye on your timer. Every 20 seconds, smash out a 10 second skip, sprint, and then get back on your rest, get back on your rope. Try and break it up, try and make it seamless. What you don't want to do guys, you don't want to be skipping. See if you've got a 10 second sprint, put your rope down, mess around, trip over yourself. Try and keep it as nice and as seamless as possible, okay? So that's your first element, that's the first part of the workout. As you can see, even after a minute, you can feel your breath, your heart rate coming up. As you get through it, you'll hit your second wind, you'll feel a lot better, okay? So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna move into shadow boxing, okay? Same thing again, shadow boxing, focusing on our technique and our form, okay? I'm a right-handed boxer, therefore my left foot is in front of me, right foot behind, hips nice and square, hands up tight, and I'm just gonna start. Shadow boxing, nice and easy. Moving around a bit, bump, bump, bump. Pumping the jab out, stepping in, stepping out. If you've got space, use the space. Think about keeping your opponent at a distance, using your jab, moving away, bump, keeping nice and tight, moving around a little bit, changing your angles, pivoting, whatever it might be. If you're close in, if you haven't got a lot of space, you don't need it, okay? Change the way you're shadow boxing. Plant your feet a little more, dig in your chin, Turn in, start throwing short shots, bit of head movement, slipping, rolling, ducking in, dipping in, okay? Same thing here, we're gonna add a little twist, okay? So you've got a three minute round or a two minute round, whatever you want to do, fitting to your capability, okay? Three minute round, every 30 seconds, okay? I'm looking at that timer, keeping an eye on the timer. Boom, 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 I'm doing my work. Every 30 seconds, I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna hit a sprawl. 
By a sprawl, I mean my hips go flat to the mat, keep my arms straight. I'm hit that sprawl, I'm gonna get straight into the press up position. Two push ups, two squat thrusts, two burpees, and I'm gonna carry on. Moving around, shadow boxing, doing my own thing, okay? Again, as many rounds for as long as I want. So, I'm shadow boxing, I'm moving around, doing what I want. Every 30 seconds, drop down, sprawl, two press ups, two squat thrusts, and two burpees. Happy days, okay? You can do that, as I said, many times as you want. Get your skipping in first. 20 seconds, nice and easy. 10 seconds, smash it. Three minutes, rest a minute, do it again. Do it three times, four times. As many times as you feel comfortable doing it. Then transition over into your shadow boxing. 30 seconds, good work. Bam, bam, bam. As soon as you feel 30, as soon as you see 30 seconds have gone down, one sprawl, two push-ups, two squat thrusts, two burpees. And then back up on your toes. Carry on going. Okay guys, that's that one done. Best of luck with it. Enjoy it, think about the technique. Try and get a bit of sexy boxing rhythm in there. Don't just fucking stand rooted to the spot. Sorry for swearing. Don't just stand rooted to the spot. Move around a bit and enjoy it, okay? Think about the technique. Cheers, guys.